in the previous video we have seen how to import uh, AutoCAD files how to replace any existing file and how to set the units here so uh, in this in this video I will discuss in this video I will discuss about the site site tab under this construction so as you can see here active site name so we can we can name this site suppose this is substation building this is substation building you can see here substation building and here what we have to do uh, draw new building so if you click here just click here and now we uh, we need to define the building where we want to perform this illumination system calculation so just click here at any corner then move move this cursor to here here so at these four corners okay now we have defined the building building coordinates as you can see here x x y co coordinates along with length angle so everything is uh, mentioned here so we have defined the building the entire building where we want to perform our illumination system calculation so whenever we have uh, defined the building now as a next step it has already moved to the story multi-story for multi-story building before that let's go back to site again so here this is substation building and here draw new building draw rectangular or floor element or circular or polygonal so any type of building you can define with the help of these tools and below uh, here edit no need and here maintenance uh, we will see uh, during lighting fixture uh, calculation about this maintenance factor mf by default it is 0 0.8 so this is the fixed value and this is detailed we can change here also based on the uh, environment conditions so let's uh, leave this and this is uh, site related other information other additional information so you need not to uh, change anything here so only thing you have uh, you need to define the you need to define the building and then uh, we need to uh, move to this storied building so uh, whether this is ground floor or first floor or second floor so you can define floor wise suppose this is suppose this is ground floor this is ground floor so you can see under substation building this is building one and this is ground floor so at ground floor you need to define now uh, the rooms so in this ground floor suppose we have room one room two this is room three so we need to define this here let's click here draw new room so click move the cursor and close this point so at any place you can right click and close polygon so it is now a closed contour so room one room one it is now defined and we need to move forward to this space so again draw new room we can start from anywhere So any number of rooms you you can define uh, 
sorry we need to define again because we, we had made a mistake okay yes so this is room 2 and here you can you can see slightly um, you can correct it by drag and drop okay now it is okay and another one a similar way we need to define this small room also okay and here you can select and move this slightly to cover this area also okay so as you can see if you select this uh, this one story height here uh, you need to mention the uh, floor height suppose i am mentioning uh, 4 meter and this is floor thickness okay now let's check uh, as you can see this is ground floor 4 meter 4 meter elevation so now let's check the 3d view over here so this is for 3d click here now you can see we have created three rooms room 1 2 and 3 so it is now defined and if you click here then 2d view you can get and click here so this is front view you can get rear rear side view this is front view this is side view so all these views you can get so this is to view so this is how we can create uh, different different uh, elevations and at and different rooms here if you in the scroll down uh, list uh, you can you can see it's room 1 room 2 room 3 it is already created so under this ground floor this room 1 2 and 3 three numbers rooms I have created so after this in the next video we will see how to uh, how to create how to create doors and windows beams and columns also under this construction tab